What's up, y'all? Thanks a lot for checking out this video. Um, earlier in the stream today, I made a nice, extravagant, long video on how I do my eddy farming at the end of the game. Um, I decided to simplify it by a lot. Um, basically because I just feel like it's better. So pretty much all I did was I um, have my legendary crafting. I put two into reduced crafting components, uh, one into a chance to craft items for free, and then I sunk everything else into crazy science. Creative science increases the value of things that sell, so whenever you go to sell things to the vendor, they're worth more money. Um, there's many different ways of doing an in-game um, money farming thing here. Some people choose to do, like, uh, the Yin Long is really good. It sells for the most money. Um, I think without Crazy Science, it sells for around 28. Um, I choose to use Trajectory Analysis which without crazy science sells for 18 i believe with crazy science at what i have it it will sell for 28 so either way um you don't have to have crazy science you can just craft this over and over and over and sell it to the vendor and make a ton of money that's typically what i do i don't typically go all the way into crazy science whenever i'm doing this in a normal playthrough so where I like to go is right here in Arroyo, you have three vendors. You have, hold on. You have a clothing vendor, a med point, and a weapons vendor. The reason why I go here is because I go between the med point and the weapons vendor. Med point, as everybody knows, I use so you can get the Metadox, med docs, three, four, whatever it is, the epic one that re heals you for 80% of your health. Um, I have about a thousand of those right now because that's just what I like to do. Um, I prefer to have a bunch of this. That's why I go to med points. Now, um, the reason why I go here instead of some other med point is because I can go over to the weapon vendor and also get legendary crafting components. He can give you the legendary crafting, legendary up upgrade, and basically whenever I sell stuff to him, buy stuff back, it's just a cycle that I keep going on and on. I will show you here in a minute. So this is the point that I go to, the fast travel point I go to for this. Um, you can use weapons, like I said, the Yin Long you get from a um, NCPD mission right over here, close to Ventura and Skyline. You can get it from an NPC there. Also, you can go to the vendors up over here and buy legendary crafting specs. Um, there's nothing special about those, in my opinion. None of them are worth nearly as long as, as much as the Lin Yong, Lin Long, Lin Yong Lin, whatever the fuck it's called. But you do you. Whatever works best for you, you do it. So, all I do is I sit here and I craft this. You can craft it for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 hours. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you. Get as many as you want. The reason why also I like this over weapons is it doesn't increase your carry weight. So you can sit here and craft a thousand of these. It doesn't matter. It does not lower your carry weight, so you can carry it around everywhere you go. The reason why I do that is then whenever I go and buy cyborg and stuff like that, or I buy anything in the game, I can just get my money back from the vendor that I buy stuff from. So if I spend a thousand eddies, hundred thousand eddies at a vendor, I can get all that money back just by selling him back all of the trajectory analysis. So I come here, I buy all these, I buy all these, I buy all these, and then I buy all these. Usually you'll get around 20. That's best case scenario and then you just sit here and you sell all this back to him to get your money back then I run over here and I pretty much do the same exact thing Let's just finish this, okay? so I go here and buy all this buy all these you can buy all this other stuff it doesn't matter you buy anything you want from him but basically these right here is what gives you all your good stuff and then same thing after he has like 30 grand and Eddies, I just sit here and get all the money back through this. And that's it. So that's my in-game farming technique. Every, you, you do you, whatever works best for you. Um, I prefer to sit here and craft for obvious reasons. I don't mind doing the grind and stuff like that. Um, if you are trying to get your crafting up to 20, so you can do crazy science, crafting something like this in front of a vendor is really good because this will give you like almost a thousand experience over the trajectory analysis only gives you like 300 um what else I, f I feel like that's like it there's not a whole lot to this it's not very fucking complicated 
Um, but like I said, you do you. You don't have to do crazy science. It really doesn't increase your uh, values and stuff that much. It just takes a little bit longer than to make money. So hope you like the video. If you do like it, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, y'all.